We have so many different species of insects and pollinators and everyone has a specialized job to do. I think this is what people don't realize is that if you take that away or you take the plant away, there's a the whole collapse of a system. It contributes so much to our lives in terms of nutrition and food and pollination services, I think is what they call it. And we're killing them. And we don't seem to realize how fragile our ecosystem is. Unfortunately, the way we manage the landscape means that one-third of our 98 different types of bees are threatened with extinction. Some people who are sick, if they have like a sore throat, they take a spoon of honey and then if we didn't have bees, we couldn't do that. Eco Showboat is a floating arts infrastructure that the School of Looking has begun working on in 2019. The first challenge that we're taking on right now is to transform the 48M into a zero carbon floating arts infrastructure. And the second challenge will be to plan a series of voyages along the inland waterways of Ireland visiting towns and villages in 21 counties, beginning and ending in the cities of Limerick and Dublin. The third will be to conceive a programme for the Eco Showboat that will make it a social and cultural condenser in every place it visits, supporting performance and exhibition in collaboration with local and visiting artists. We also want the showboat to be a teaching and research resource for visiting and local scientists, teachers and activists. And it's all aimed at creating awareness of fresh water biodiversity and promoting action in response to climate change. And things like ivy, you know, I'd be telling people that it's, it's one of the only things that flowers in the winter time, so it's really important if there's ever insects waking up during milder periods in the winter, which occur more frequently now with climate change. That diversity of species, uh, particularly the clovers, are very good for uh, pollinating insects, a wider variety of, for them to feed on, and then the flowering season's longer as well. So your knapweeds, for example, they're in flower now, Whereas the red clovers and stuff that you see, the metal buttercups, they're going out of flower. The insects didn't need that foraging habitat throughout the season, not just in a short spell. Shaded Seeds is a work we developed for the Science Gallery specifically. And it talks about how the power of reducing plastics is in our hands. So what I want to do is the moment people start interacting with the work, they enter it, they play with it, and you see, you see it moving at their fingertips. And at that moment, they realize that it's actually sticking to their fingers. It's in their hands to make a change. The photographs were taken in a um, food to waste compost facility in Navan. Uh, I was commissioned by the Science Gallery to go there and um, document the place. The facility deals with um, food waste from the household. But the problem is that um, 25 to 30 percent of everything that goes in there is um, plastic. That has to be separated and because it is contaminated plastic, it uh, is then unfortunately designated for the uh, landfill. We could plant flowers in our gardens. We would have steered towards trying to put more emphasis on pollination sources along say, the Lewis line. Grow more flowers, grow more flowers, grow more flowers, grow more flowers, grow more flowers.